boys. You will see a little bit of that today when they squabble over their lunch. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to give the Whispering Wall a try. The boys are on the other end of the dam. It's about 140 metres on each side. And we're going to go down and see if we can hear each other. So, dessert gins? Yes, I like a dessert gin. And I got a cocktail paddle. Welcome back guys, new episode. Yes. So we're in the Barossa Valley now. So what's happened is we have to loop back to Adelaide next week for a car service. So we thought, you know what, let's just come out here, spend a week out here. Yep. And we've been talking to a few people, we're not wine drinkers, but apparently there's still a lot to do in the Barossa if you're not a wine drinker. Yeah. So this morning uh, we went to the cheese factory. Yep. And I didn't like any of the cheeses, but Dion did. I'm not a cheese person. No. I, I do like a good cheese, especially if it's, it's got some flavour to it. Yeah, so Dion has stocked up on cheese. So this is a $5 tasting platter. Cheese? Cheese platter. Cheese yeah. It's cheese platter. Or you can <laughs> sit back for a second. Or you can order... Diagonal, I believe. A gourmet one. We also went to the farmer's markets, which I didn't actually film anything of. I thought it was just going to be a fruit stand. Yeah. But it actually, they had salamis, chili sauces. South Australia, they don't do salamis, it's oh, meat yeah, met, met worst. Oh yeah, something. Worst. Anyway, so we're at the Barossa Distilling Company now. Yes. From my investigations, they make gin. <laughs> All right, let's go and see what they've got. Yes. Can I say? Mr. Gin Connoisseur. What are you doing, Jordan, right? It's a work in progress, I'm learning. So we, what's the process here? And you drink it. Yeah, you drink it straight. And you try it with ice. And you, then you add a garnish. And then you can add soda water. I hate soda water. It has a weird taste. Well, it's tonic. It's tonic, water. tonic water, same stuff. Mm. Soda water probably tastes better because it's just water, tonic water. I reckon you just leave a weird taste in your mouth. Mm. But so far, they've been pretty good gins. Not as sweet as I normally like, but most gins are dry, they aren't really. Not until you get to these last two where they actually add some extra flavours to them. The dessert gins? Yes. I like a dessert gin. Mm. And I got a cocktail paddle. This one has rum in it and I don't really like rum. But these two are pretty good. I'll drink it and you can drive home. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Oh, it's a, it's still a, one or two more stops today, don't we? Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll drink it and by the time I've gone, done my next, next run, you'll be right. The next place has ice cream, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, this one is like a summery type drink. This one is a hard pink lemonade. And this was apple and rum, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had pizza. Can I have some ice cream? If you're good. I'm good. Hudson, what have you got? Ice cream. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's your cheese platter going? Not as much cheese. It's not it's that bad, but It's good. So you got some warm bread. Cheese. And Hudson, now you can talk. How's your ice cream? Smell it. Smell it. Can yeah, everyone smell, smell that? Smell a vision. Smell a vision. That's fig and honeycomb. Burnt fig and honeycomb. Mm. <laughs> smell good? Oh. Does it smell good? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. So good. And it's puppy friendly. And you can just watch these turtles just chilling. 
<laughs> All right, so we're at Maggie Beer's farm in the Barossa. So Dion's eating a cheese tasting platter at the moment. Me and Hudson are about to go for a little walk, aren't we? To the other side of the river where that so sad. Yeah, that's where we're going. So yeah. everything here is really kid friendly. We've just had some ice cream. However, um, if you guys are getting a tasting platter, there's also a kids tasting platters. So they were $12 and they came with like a Vegemite and cheese scroll, pieces of cheese, pieces of fruit, a popper, a little surprise, things like that. So the kids can get in on the tasting. Shall we go do this walk? Yeah! yeah. And follow me! Okay, let's do it. Follow me, Mom. Okay. All right, so we were on our way home from Maggie Beers. Yep. And uh, we've come across Chateau Dorian cellar door. However, on the entry sign, it says they do honey mead. And Dion jammed on those brakes and turned in because he would like to try honey mead and it says they do taste testing. Yeah. So I've got a friend back home who used to make his own mead and they're pretty good. So I'd be interested to see what a commercial version tastes like. So pretty much if you don't drink wine, like we don't, there is so much to do and taste test in the Barossa. I was yep. a bit worried that we were gonna get here and be really bored because it's just wine. I mean, no matter where you go, there's bloody... Vineyards everywhere. Uh, yeah, but there's actually a lot to do. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. Stand in here, wait for you. Mm. Beads and do do do. Rum and raisin Dion. Oh, sweet honey. Alright, Dion. Yes. So that little stopover. It was an expensive stop. Was an expensive stopover. So we went in and they were so lovely. Uh, it's a little family run winery, but they also do meads and port, which yep. Dion likes both. And it was free taste testing, wasn't it? You didn't what did uh, you pay? it was five dollars for taste testing, but I think he waived the fee when we bought alcohol. Uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, oh, that's right, yeah, so five dollars. Um, and they pretty much will just let you test whatever you want. You've got 30 minutes, and you can try as much as you want within that 30 minutes. So, Dion yep. tried all of the meads, all of the ports, ports. um, and quite liked a few. We've decided that with this sort of thing, because we're going to so many places, we're just gonna be so full of glass bottles in the van that we're just gonna start Enjoy. sending stuff home, and then when we finish our trip, we're gonna have. We're gonna have all of these wonderful little things waiting for us. So, uh, Dion bought six bottles. He's got one with him. Yes. And we've shipped five back home. One of them is for our friend who is storing a lot of our stuff while we're away as a little present. And the other four are for, well, for Dion when we get home, really. Yeah. But yeah, definitely go and check them out. Little family run business. They don't sell to any companies they don't sell to alcohol shops it's all just direct to the public you can buy on their website though yeah good they liked it it's not often that we find something like that but they likes a lot of them so no and the problem is though when you buy like if i'm buying one i'm paying 30 dollars postage i can buy six and pay 30 dollars postage so 200 dollars later <laughs> <It gets expensive. laughs> anyway look put it this way we're staying at a five dollar a night camp and we've already spent pretty much our whole budget for the week. In one day. Today. Um, There's all the chocolate chip board. My but arm is not hurting anymore. Hudson's arm's not hurting, so he's going to get to ride his bike soon. Yes. Um, but yeah, there's lots of money to spend on the Barossa. So if you come to the Barossa, go to a cheap camp so that instead of paying $40, $50 a night, you can spend that money on yeah, all everything the else. attractions, the taste testings, the wineries, the tours, mm. it's... It adds up. Yeah, it, it adds up, but it's more enjoyable knowing that you aren't spending all of your money yeah. on pretty much storage for your van while you're out for the day. Yeah, which is all it is. So, um, I'll put a... I'll do a little walk around of where we're staying when we get back. Yeah. It's not brilliant. All the sites are really... Uh, they're on a slopey yeah. and we when we read the reviews we we're like oh yeah slopey whatever no they're really slopey it took us like an hour to get the caravan done we had to dig holes and 
but there's clean toilets, there's a dump point, there's water. No, everything you need. And it's five minutes from Barossa, so. Yeah, that's only five dollars. That's it, bye. Trying to get the drone working. Trying well. to get the drone working. So what's happened is we droned today, um, which will drop in somewhere. And I had the choice of driving the car or droning, and I really don't like droning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love driving either, but I don't like droning. And the last time we droned, the drone actually decided to take itself for a fly without Dion and uh, crashed into a tree. So I'm not super keen to uh, use it anytime soon. Dion just wants a new drone, so he's hoping it'll crash itself and <laughs> die. It's quite an old drone, oh. but I mean, it does the job. now we are at the Barossa chocolate factory we do not need to be at another chocolate factory because we've been to a lot and our fridge is so full of chocolate it's not funny mm -hmm. but I figure we'll just come here for some morning tea and then after this we're going to a lavender farm and then we're going to the whispering wall so they should be pretty cool I found them on wiki I haven't actually seen anyone go visit um, on the 101 YouTube channels we've watched so hopefully it'll be cool and we don't know what to expect because we haven't seen it so no should be good. Feel like we're maybe out of season a little bit just a little bit out of season because i'm pretty sure that all this is supposed to be purple and it just looks a bit dead how you say yeah that's life it's not traveling in the seasons with peak tourists mm. you don't always get the good videos and the good photos and no. but you don't have to deal with the crowds all right so we'll go check it out anyway yeah Hey, so at the lavender farm, we just had a chat to the people who work here. Lavender season is from spring through to about midsummer, so in about January. It's now the beginning of March, so we are a bit out of season, and you can probably see behind me, it's all a bit green. There is no purple, which is a bit disappointing, but it's still cool to see the history. Um, at this particular farm, it's either 60 or 90 variations of lavender that they grow. I didn't even know there were that many variations to start with. So you can wander around. This is from on top of the hill. So you can just imagine that during the uh, season where it's all purple, that would look beautiful. And then they have a shop here and they sell everything from soaps, body washes, to fragrance oil, pure oil. They sell everything you can think of, lavender lollies, uh, they have a little cafe that sells lavender flavoured items as well. So if you like lavender, chuck this one on your list. And if you want to see it in its full beauty, uh, try and get here when obviously it's in season. But it's still pretty cool even out. And here you go, the whispering wall. 140 metres. And if you whisper from one end, you can hear it from the other. Okay, so we're going to give the whispering wall a try. The boys are on the other end of the dam it's about 140 meters on each side and we're going to go down and see if we can hear each other so we'll just get down there all right so i'm at the other end of the whispering wall and jess she is where are we just come up over there i don't know if you can see her yeah. Yeah, Adam, your turn Let's go. Get in. 
All right, so we're here and the boys are all the way over there. Let's see if we can hear them. Hudson. Hudson. Hi, darling. What are you doing over there? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Can you see mum? She's all the way over the other side. Yeah? Yeah! But you can hear her? Yeah, I can hear you. You're a long way away. Yeah! Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me? That's good. Very cool. I love you too, Hudson. You want to come get me? Yeah. Okay, see you soon. That is beyond cool. Holy crap. So, so cool. So the Barossa Reservoir took 400 workers three years to complete. And then, yeah, they worked out that you could whisper to each other. That's it there. What did you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, hey. Like it wasn't it's amazing. Not, it's quality. not ridiculously loud, but you just can... the fact that you can hear someone talking at this level, 400 meters away. 140 meters away. Ah, 400 work, yeah. 100. Yeah. No, that was cool. I think that was worth the drive to check that out. Yes.